Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video, where I discuss whether or not the Thomas franchise fits into the Pixar theory. For people who are not familiar with the Pixar theory, it is essentially a theory that states that all of the Pixar films take place in the same universe on one giant timeline. And from that, you should already have seen the first big problem with this idea. Thomas is not made by Pixar. And yes, it isn't. Therefore, I'm not trying to suggest that Thomas should be in the official Pixar theory timeline. However, what I am doing is suggesting how, in theory, it might be able to fit on the timeline. So, if you're familiar with Pixar films, you should know, roughly, whereabouts I'm putting Thomas. And that is around the same time as Cars. And, I know what you're thinking, there are humans in Thomas, and there aren't in Cuts. But I will get on to that. Those of you familiar with the Pixar theory will know that humans had to leave the Earth because it was getting too polluted, and while they were gone, the cars come to life. However, the last film on the Pixar theory timeline before the Cars films is Coco, and it doesn't look all that polluted, so there could be a potentially very large gap between Coco and the humans leaving Earth. Also, we don't actually know when the cars come to life. We assume that they only come to life after the humans left, but we don't know that for sure. Like I said, there is potentially a big gap between Coco, enough time for vehicles to start coming to life and for people to get used to them before they leave. And, if you think about it, it does make sense. It is commonly accepted that cars in the Cars universe wake up in the order that they were built. So cars like Doc Hudson and Smokey woke up before Lightning, and Lightning woke up before Jackson Storm. And, in Thomas, the first characters we meet are steam engines, and then diesel engines start to show up and then we start getting more modern engines in the more recent seasons, like Hugo in Season 20. So, this is my timeline. Sometime after Coco, cars and other vehicles, specifically the oldest, start coming to life. In the books and earlier seasons of the TV show, the engines are shown to basically not be able to operate themselves at all. They need crews to run. But, as the series progresses, they seem to be getting more and more unreliant on their crews, and, although it's never shown, it seems that they could run without a driver if they wanted to. A main point of the Pixar theory is evolution. It literally has the humans evolving into monsters. So, maybe the engines and vehicles evolved so they could run crewless. And that brings me on to Thomas and the Magic Railroad. Several fans, me included, don't count Magical Railroad as canon for a few reasons, but one being that there seem to be no humans on Sodor at all and Lady's the only engine with a driver. But if Thomas does take place in the Pixar universe, then we can set this film in the distant future after the humans have left and the engines can now run by themselves. And I know we see humans in Shining Time in the film, but I have an idea for that as well. A part of the Pixar theory is that the monsters are human in the future who have evolved, and that the doors that take them to the human world actually let them time travel back to when the Earth was populated by humans. So time travel is possible in the Pixar theory. What if, when Mr. Conductor uses his gold dust to travel through the Magic Railroads to Sodor, is actually travelling forward in time to when humans don't populate the Earth anymore? and the one engine that needs a driver is Lazy, who is also the one engine who came from the human world. 
And I know the Topham Hat and his family still live on Sodor during Magic Railroads, they're just on holiday at the time. But I have two ideas about that. One is that the Fat Controller just refused to leave Earth and wanted to stay with his engines. This is understandable, as we don't know to what extent the engines could operate themselves when the humans left Earth. And Sir Topham must have been worried about what would happen if one of the engines broke down. Given we never see him in the film, it is possible that Sir Topham has evolved to survive. And the second idea is that they live in Shining Time and just go to Sodor to work. Also, regarding why there are only six engines on Sodor when there are loads when humans are still on Sodor, again, I have two ideas. The first is that they simply chose to go live somewhere else, but the second, slightly more depressing idea is that by the time Wally comes around, the cars are all dead, so something must have happened, so maybe that has already started and killed most of the engines on Sodor. A potential problem with this theory is that the earliest events in the books take place in the 1920s, which is long before Coco. I have two ideas for this. The first is that I think we only see one railway engine in all of the roughly modern day Pixar films, and it looks pretty modern, this engine. So the idea is that maybe steam engines started waking up as early as the First World War, and diesels and cars didn't wake up until much later. And the other idea is that they have the 1950s in the car world, and the explanation given is that they remember events done by humans driving them through a carified lens, and maybe that's what's happening. As for the humans still being there, I can't explain that. So I appreciate that there hasn't been much solid proof in this video, and it has mostly been that there's little evidence against it, which doesn't really make for the best theory, and there are still some holes in the theory, but I was never trying to say it should be part of the official Pixar theory timeline, it was just for a bit of fun, so that's fine. One thing I like about this theory is that if you absolutely hate this idea and it ruins your experience of either Thomas or Pixar, because there's so little evidence for it, you can forget it exists, but if you love this idea, because there's little evidence against it, aside from it not being made by Pixar, you can accept it as your headcanon. However, I don't think this should ever be part of the official Pixar theory timeline, at least until Pixar by Thomas of Mattel at some point, which is something every Thomas fan wants at this point. Seriously, anyone but Mattel. So, that is my idea for how Thomas could potentially fit into the Pixar theory, but let me know whether or not you agree in the comments down below. Thanks for watching everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram by clicking on the links in the description. That's all for today, I will see you next week.